Oh, yes. I'm getting home. I wonder what Diana would say about us uh, taking the stars out of the sky. Huh? Look, look, look. <laughs> well, quick, make a wish. Make it a good one. Go on. <sighs> What's the matter? Bad wish? No, no, I, no, I, I don't really know what. Oh, Mike, I'm flat out. Oh, I have to change one more chamber pot tonight. It's worth throw the whole thing out the window. Oh. Sorry. Well, now, Truman, oh. I've been meaning to talk to you. Oh. I have enough bad relationships that I think I can give you a heads up on a few things. Right, that's true. Goes. But... Now, sorry. <laughs> with Diana, remember not to give her too many overt compliments. Don't constantly tell her how beautiful she is. Um, not too much physical affection. There's just a time when you need to keep your tentacles to yourself. Yes, I've got tentacles. <laughs> not too much talk of the future and no declaration of love. Oi! Mike! She's out to make you as charming as a codfish! This woman hasn't been in a relationship for over a century and a half. Uh, they're engaged! If that's what give a man some license, I don't know what else to ask. But Diana is in a fragile emotional state, Lane. Look, I figure it's like, like riding a bike, right? The minute you learn to snog somebody, you never forget! Maybe you can even out of that. Oh. Oh. What's wrong with this? Just let me handle it. It's natural. I'm not good for her. Truman, she's lucky to have you. Yes, what if I love her? If I really love her, I'll let her go to the man who could really make her happy. What have you been talking to Colin? He loves her. I've seen it in his eyes. Well, so do you. I've seen it in your eyes. So the only question you've got to ask yourself is who does she love? Jackie, it's not that easy, darling. <laughs> no, it's not the man she loves. The man she really loves has been dead for over a hundred years. Diana, 
and with our mortality comes another dynamic. Children! Echo is proof of what happens when an immortal joins with a mortal. But what happens when two immortals join together? They, they have an immortal children. Yes, think of that as they are carrying that man's fragile body out of here. I want you to think of your children. Think of your little babies. You would never have to attend another deathbed again. Can that man-child give you that? And if we have enough children, think of it. No army on earth could stop us. We are immune to blades, to guns, to knives, bombs, and nuclear and biological weapons. I have waited centuries, centuries to find somebody like you. Listen, this is, this is destiny. This is fate. This is God. Is that what this has been about the entire time? You want to build an immortal army out of no, my it's, children? It's nothing like that. Listen, Diana. Listen. No! Listen. Get out of me! You can hurt me out of me! Not let you make my children to your executioners and insult them! You are released from my service, Roman. So, Wait, sir, I don't think it is. You're forgetting there's one more thing in this house that can yield to your advantage. And what is that? The seed of eternal life. Your father, he has shown it to you. Not yet. It was to be tonight, but as soon as it turned out. Damn! But, we can wait. Yes. We can move on it as soon as he has shown it to you. In the meantime, we can be patient. Poor flower, whom I have watched six or seven days, and seen my birth, and seen what every hour gave to thy growth, and thee to this height to raise. And now thou dost laugh and triumph on this bow. Little thinkest thou that it will freeze anon, and that I shall tomorrow find thee fallen, or not at all. Good morning, darling. Uh, you saved my life, you know. Your life would not have been in danger if it weren't for me. Oh, no, that's not one of those conversations. And what conversation would that be? The kind where the lover is consumed with guilt because he or she put the other lover in danger. Is guilt a fair part in your time? <laughs> no, no, just a cliche. I see. So guilt is a cliche in the modern world. Um, <coughs> some. Let's just say that if I uh, were to die someday. That you will die. Yes, it's in it's in it. I don't want you to feel guilty for being alive. I don't think that moment will elicit guilt. Just envy. And once again, loneliness. Why is with that loneliness now? When Colin lunged at you, I thought you were already dead. I just found you, and I thought I already lost you. Why the delay? for that, Colin. After nearly killing Truman, everybody around is a bit cautious. But they still trust you. Of course. Just a little bit more time to learn their, their little circle. Hello? Good. And what about you, Echo? You still gonna go through with your end of the bargain? Or is this some ploy on my affections for you? Listen, Roman. When you're immortal, when you're like us, you will be my king, and Father will create for himself a new queen. I'll be your equal, then. Not a servant anymore, a master. Yes, and you will be my son. But we're losing time. Do what you can to hurry up the process. Right, I'll keep in touch. I don't like this. He's not deserving. Of course he isn't. But he is useful. Let's 
Circle Jeep Pro in real life, and it is, yes, it's my favorite one. You're gonna love it, come on, come on. <laughs> Frightened up here, it's like flying with the wind against your cheeks. Ah, you're like my angel taking me to heaven. Oh, I'm afraid of heights. Darling, you're not. How can you be afraid of heights? <laughs> because it will still hurt if I fall. I can still feel pain. Darling, you can still feel exhilaration. <laughs> After this, I shall leave it to you. You're doing You're being paranoid, Roman. Am I? Yes. All right, Colin, give me all the reason why I shouldn't just keep this myself then, eh, huh? Is this a good enough reason for you? Oh. Well, like... Oh. You misunderstand. I don't care about being immortal. I just want you. Just show Welcome 
to hell, boy. For that is what you chose when you ate the other half the fruit. I don't understand, Colin. I didn't believe my father and mother when they told me whoever ate the fruit would be cursed. But immortality wasn't the curse, death was. I didn't kill my brother, they did. By eating that fruit, they killed us all. It took me hundreds of years to outtrick that cherub. But as painful as that flaming sword was, it didn't pierce me, it didn't burn me. I was immortal. I saved that second fruit, but someone had stolen it from me. I searched for it, I hunted for it, but it soon had been lost. Until I heard legend of a girl saved from death by fruit. It was her father's last chance to save her. It was rumored it would heal any disease, heal any illness. He didn't know how true that turned out to be. Well, I would find in this new immortal woman my Eve. And if not my Eve, then my Liv. I was dying. He saved you. Why didn't he? He let me die. He damned you. I was supposed to die. Yes, and now you will live forever in your sins. As will you, Truman. For you ate the other half of the fruit. And that, to me, is the greatest victory I could have gained tonight. What of all your talk of love? Was that a lie as well? Was this a lie? You don't know love. Only desire. Love, no sacrifice. Please, Colin, leave us in peace. I'll leave you. But never in peace. Peace never comes for the likes of us. We could have been some comfort for one another. Some relief. Perhaps we could have even given God a run for his money. Your memory will haunt me for the rest of my unnatural life. <coughs> the devil took the bait. The blanks in the gun worked. <coughs> I didn't know whether he'd gotten to the gun before he did. When it went off, I didn't know whether I'd be dead or alive. He believes that you are immortal, Truman. He, he will never come here again. We have your forewarning to thank for this, Echo. Oh, thank you. And of course, Diana's brilliant plan. <laughs> Diana, you're right. What's wrong? <laughs> what? It's going to be wonderful. Forever in my sin.
I tell you what, let's go. You know what, I'm going to go and get the keys and we're going to find that little cottage that you were looking for and we're going to fly away from this place and we're going to start all over, all right? How's that? Hmm? <laughs> Bye-bye. I'm saving for my father. If there is any hope that redemption can touch him, I'd like to give it to him someday. If he ever chooses a new path, I will put this in his hands. I... I don't know how to thank you. You, you have delivered me from hell. I saw Echo and I decided to come back. I heard everything. I'll leave you alone to talk. <coughs> you want this, don't you? I can wait. Wait until you die, we can still live a full life together. Well, nothing would make me happier, but... Don't! Diana, under any other circumstances. This would be terribly wrong. But it's it's like taking you off eternal life support and letting your body take its natural course. But that's not what this is. That's not what this is about. I'm in love with you, Truman. And but you're not happy. I No. I could never make you happier. The wounds are too deep. You need me. Yes, but love no sacrifice, dear. Yeah. And if Colin were to find out about this, who knows what he would do to prevent it? It is time for your peace. just like this. So beautiful.
In the day thou weakest thereof, thou shalt surely die. Thank you.